Hi guys. Today we will analyze Pentair stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock has been a bad performer in the overall market. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Strong support level is around $44. Next strong support level is around $36. Strong resistance levels are around $47.50 and $51. Next strong resistance levels are around $54, $58 and $65. In the last month the stock has been trading between $43.60 and $51.40 and range. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 1.3 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since November 2021. Be careful. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 7% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 11% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 191% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Pentair Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Pentair will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 2%. Future profit margin would be low, 12%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $32. Second scenario. Pentair will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 4%. Future profit margin would be average. 13%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $41. Third scenario. Pentair will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 6%. Future profit margin would be high, 14%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high. 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $52. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 3.27. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Pentair, analysts forecast growth rate around 6% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 12. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Pentair company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Pentair will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 2%. Future P.E. would be low, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $20. Second scenario. Pentair will have average performance in next 5 years, 
and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 4%. Future PE would be average, 15. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $30. Third scenario. Pentair will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 6%. Future PE would be high, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $42. As you can see, today the stock is a bit overvalued, $44, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. While the company has a good profitability rating, there are some minor concerns on its financial health. Also, the stock is expected to show a small growth in revenue in the next 5 years, 4-6% yearly. The stock looks fairly valued at the moment. However, keep in mind that the stock has been in a downward trend since November 2021, and it can go lower, before it recovers. The company is a dividend aristocrat. I like the stock in these levels, and I may consider buying the stock for the dividend, when I see signs of reversal. Company Strengths Pantera PLC is an American company, incorporated in Ireland with tax residency in UK. Pantera is a leader in water treatment solutions, with a focus on the pool industry. The company's primary focus is on residential, commercial, industrial, municipal and infrastructure and agriculture applications. Following the Nvent spin-off, Pantera has transitioned from cyclical industrial to stable water solutions provider. A significant portion of the company's revenue is driven by aftermarket sales and replacement parts. Pentair has been enjoying some strong performance, with the pool business seeing well above average growth, as the pandemic led consumers to divert discretionary income to home improvements, like pools. Pentair has opportunities to drive some growth with a growing lineup of automation products. Residential demand should continue to drive growth. Pentair is a pure play water company poised to benefit from demand for sustainable and energy-efficient water solutions. The acquisitions of Pelican Water and Aquion, will bolster Pentair's portfolio of water solutions in the residential and commercial markets. Pentair's moat is bolstered by intangible assets. For instance, one of its brands, Everpure, has strong brand equity as a leader in the food and beverage industry, serving well-known companies such as Coca-Cola, Starbucks, and United Airlines. The company is a dividend aristocrat. It has raised its dividend for impressive 46 consecutive years. The stock currently has 1.88% dividend yield. The company's return on assets of 11%, return on equity of 22% and profit margin of 14% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Risks Growth has been relatively sluggish, and may remain elusive in the industrial and flow technologies segment. The outlook for the pool business over the next few years, is the hot point of debate with demand likely pulled forward, but to an unknown extent. Water treatment and specialized industrial filtration offer worthwhile growth opportunities, but not enough to fully offset a slowing pool business. Investors have to have above average patience, and risk tolerance for the near term. Cost inflation could be a headwind in the short run. Persistent strength in the US dollar could make Pentair more susceptible to offshore competition. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 4 to 6% on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 6 to 10% on average over the next 5 years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.